It started as an ordinary day on Ukraine's home front. But this peace punctured by brutal Russian attacks. Twin missiles struck this residential building in the eastern city of Zaporizhia. The explosion igniting fires, sending smoke billowing into the air. Firefighters scrambling to cut through doors to search for survivors. This city may be near Russia's front line, but this apartment block was nowhere near a military target, local officials said. The attack killed one person and left dozens injured. The victims here were ordinary people and their pets. It's very scary, very scary, this woman says. I don't know what the people are suffering for. But civilian suffering has become commonplace here in Ukraine. Hours earlier, Russian drones struck a dormitory building outside Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, part of a wave of drone and missile strikes across the country. This attack was much further from the front lines, but the civilian casualties were still higher. Seven people were killed, about 10 were injured. For a fraction of a second, I wish the concrete slab above us fell down on me to stop me from burning alive, this teacher said. This is what was going on through my mind in the fraction of the second after the explosion. This was a dormitory. The casualties were mostly teachers and students. There was a lot of smoke and our clothes caught fire, this teacher said. We suffered some burns, but it really doesn't matter because we're alive. As the attacks hit the home front, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was near the front lines, awarding medals to soldiers who took a moment to condemn Russia's attacks. All Russian strikes will receive a military, political, and legal response. Russia will lose this war, he said. Every Russian murderer should understand. An arrest warrant is the best thing that can happen to him. Ukrainians crave justice, but with the battlefields largely frozen, that satisfaction may have to wait. And Jacob, those twin attacks here in Ukraine come as some of the most consequential diplomacy of the war wraps up in Moscow. China's leader Xi Jinping just left two full days of meetings with Russian President Vladimir Putin. And what was notable for Ukrainians was what wasn't announced. China didn't announce that it would be giving lethal aid to Russia's war here in Ukraine. Instead, Vladimir Putin is forced to once again go it almost entirely alone as his war stumbles into its second year. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.